Okay, the last example of finding the rate of change is finding the rate of change between two points. So this is kind of a more generalized way when we don't have the whole line drawn and we don't have a whole table with lots of values. We are still going to be looking for the same type of measurement. So we know our rate of change is rise over run and rate of change again sometimes called slope that's the same thing rise is my delta y and run is my delta x so you could write that in either form you have to kind of get used to seeing those two different notations for that and it all means the same thing so in the first piece of that is the rise i have to figure out what's happening in the rise and that's in the y direction so I want to figure out what changes in the y direction so my y values are negative are positive 5 and negative 4 so from the first point at positive 5 what changes to go from positive 5 to negative 4 Okay, so we know here that delta y, the change in y, is the second y minus the first y. So this is my first y is 5 and my second y is negative 4. So I'm going to put that into my equation. So this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 4 minus 5 is the top of that. And negative 4 minus 5, that means it's negative 9. And that makes sense. Hopefully you guys see that, that you're going down by 9 to go from a positive 5 to a negative 4. It's going down 9 squares on your graph. Um, similarly, we're going to look at our x values and I'm going to call this guy grab a different pen uh, grab call this guy my x value and my x value and say what's happening in the x direction I start at negative 1 and I end up at Three. So how many squares did I go over in the x direction? And you have to take where you ended up, x2, minus where you started with, x1. So I'm going from negative 1 to get to 3. That's a positive 4. So I'm going to take 3 minus negative 1. And then I'm just going to simplify. So negative 4 minus 5, we said already that's negative 9. Our y values went down 9 squares. It's negative because it's decreasing, going from a positive to a negative. And in the x direction, my x values went up by 4. It went from negative 1 to positive 3, so that's 4. Okay. If you could reduce this fraction, like if it was negative 9 over 3, then you'd put it in lower terms or divide it out. But if you can't, then you're done. Okay. So for each of these, using this kind of equation and getting used to the difference between looking at the rise over run, delta y over delta x, and then the equation with the two points. So you should be able to figure out what the slope or the rate of change is from those three different formats, from a graph, from an equation or from two points and from a table.